Hello, welcome back to my channel and to another renovation vlog. Um, I'm refilming the intro because unfortunately there must have been something blocking my mic and the audio was just really grainy. So um, effectively, it was me introducing the video and letting you know that finally, after six months of owning the house, I had heating because the gas engineer had come out and uncapped the gas and got the boiler going. And it had only cost me £60, so I was really chuffed with that. Um, and the next steps in the process were to use up the emergency credit that was on the, the gas meter and then get Eon to come out and reset it. Once that was used up, because it still had £150 of the previous owner's, well, tenant's um, debt on it that I didn't want to have to soak up. Um, so, yeah, was just really happy with the progress on that. Um, and... I showed you the boiler, you don't really need to see that. So, moving on into the rest of the video. Hello, so it's now Saturday and you will have seen that I went to B&Q and I got this wood here. And that is because um, I'm gonna be doing some work to the staircase. So at the moment, I think I've spoken about this before, um, you can see that the risers are open, they're non-existent, we just have the treads. And I don't want that because this staircase is going to be carpeted so I want to put backs on the back of each step. So to do that, I've got some one by one uh, battens, which I'm going to fix underneath the risers. Move that out of the way. And um, this, I've got them in b and to cut it to the right width, hopefully. But, oh. Is it going to fit? I can't do this one-handed. There we go, perfect. So yeah, I've got them to cut it to the right width, um, but I just need to then cut it down into the individual risers and it won't be going on the front of the step, it'll be going on the back of the step. So if we look here, I need to clean all this off because the MDF will be screwed into this and I need to run a batten along there and it'll be screwed into the batten as well and then it'll be nice and secure. And then once that's done, I can get the carpet fitter to come out and do the big bedroom that's up there, the landing and the staircase. And then that's all the carpet done. Um, so my dad's coming down to give me a hand today. I don't know if he's going to... I don't know what we're going to tackle first because I need him to help me do the bits in the bathroom. Um, we're fitting the new taps and the new sink and whatnot. Um... And I also want to get the doors sanded um, and then get some decorating done and get the stairs done. So it's what we tackle first because there's quite a few things. But the main thing that I need his help with is the bathroom stuff. I am capable of changing a tap. I've changed a tap myself before, but um, because someone else is going to be living here, it needs to be done 100% um, correctly in terms of any plumbing works. So um, he's going to help me with that to make sure that I don't end up getting a phone call in a few months time to say that everything's leaking. 
Um, so I'm gonna wait for him to get here. There's some, I need to sort the bathroom out upstairs because it's a, um, got a lot of stuff in there at the moment. So that needs sorting out so that we can actually work in there um, whilst my dad gets here. So it's actually the next day now. And of course, it's one of those things where um, you never get as much done as you expect you might do. Um, but we did make some progress in the bathroom, um, but things have had to change from what I initially had planned. So a noticeable difference is that we no longer have a sink or panels on the bath. Um, the piece of tile came off when we removed the sink. And I had bought a new sink with one tap hole um, to go there. However, the pedestal of the current sink, you can see where it's been cut out. It's sat against this boxing out and the sink sat against the wall. You can see the line of the silicon there. And that obviously was perfect. The new sink, however, the pedestal needs to be almost flush against the wall. And you can see in there, sorry, it's a bit gross, but that's actually the soil pipe from my toilet that runs straight out and down straight out behind the bath. Therefore, without being a master at cutting ceramics without smashing them to pieces, there is no way of us putting a new sink in here. So to save a whole load of work and hassle, we're actually going to reinstall the old sink because there's nothing wrong with it besides it being scalloped like the toilet. I was also gonna replace the toilet with my parents' toilet, but if I'm keeping the sink, I might as well keep the toilet and just change the seat. Um, so what we did get done was um, Dad has managed to install the new tap, which looks lovely. And before it was one of those massive sort of chintzy porcelain on chrome um, tap with handheld shower. I don't really want a handheld shower over the bath. There's a whole separate shower enclosure over there and the, it's only tiled halfway up the wall. Um, I know it's handy to have a shower over the bath for rinsing your hair if you've washed your hair in a bath. But um, I'm just thinking about my walls here. So I'm happy with that situation. And um, Dad has managed to get the bath panels cut to shape. They're through here. Excuse all the stuff. I've been taking photos for eBay now that I've got nice white walls to photograph against. So you can see on the big panel there, he's cut around the existing boxing in. Um, so that is all set to go. So I'll take you back through. We just need a little piece of wood to make up this corner here to attach the panels to, because otherwise we can get them to sit in position and then as soon as you let go of them, they just pop out. So then we can screw them into that. We do actually have some um, of the original tiles left over under the bath, which is nice, along with all the builder's waste as per if you've been watching these house renovations, you know that's a current theme. <laughs> so um, I'm not gonna actually bother replacing this one. We're gonna stick the old bits back on. However, you can see the line of the silicon and this actually sits directly behind the bowl of the sink. So it's not gonna achieve anything by putting a whole fresh new tile in. However, if I turn around over here, um, this tile has come off and left a bit in there. Um, so it's going to be quite easy for us to cut one of the tiles that's under the bath and replace that nicely, especially because they've managed to cover it in the, I think that's grout that they've managed to cover that in. So yeah, that'll tidy that up nicely. Um, and then the only other thing to do in here is to replace the radiator. So next weekend, Dad's coming back. We need to plane a little bit off the bottom of this door because it gets stuck. It doesn't go any further in. So we're going to do that change the radiator, put the bath panels back on and reinstall the tink, sink, not tink, sink and toilet seat. The only thing I need to do now is buy a pair of taps for the sink. I had bought a tap because the sink, the new sink that I bought was a single hole, but uh, the original sink that I'm now keeping has two separate taps. So this isn't going to work. So I'll put this on the eBay. Um, it's too late for me to return it now. I've owned it for a few months. Hello, it is Wednesday evening. So I have actually managed to get my ass down here. Um, I'm just gonna do a few little bits. So I want to get all that lot upstairs and have a general sort out down here because I want to be able to come in on Saturday and crack on with 
decorating and getting the stairs done so as much space down here as possible will be great um i'd also it depends how long everything takes me but maybe do the touch-ups in the bathroom and also maybe give that cupboard its first coat of satin wood um i'm not sure why a decorator left it i'm guessing he just couldn't be asked sorry the light's not great i'm still right underneath the pendant um yeah i'm guessing he couldn't be bothered uh but yeah it needs some attention because that's going to take a few coats to cover so if i can get one on that that will be fantastic and also maybe maybe the fire surround in there um it's a very orangey pine so i'd rather just paint that white um so i will get cracked on and give you some progress updates um i've only got my tiny tripod here it's not very good so um i might get some time lapses i might not you'll see okay so it's a little bit later and woohoo we have an undercoat on i'm gonna leave the inside as the wood effect as a homage to all of the wood that was in this house that i've painted over um i think it's a nice little touch just because there's a bit of pine and there's a little bit of mahogany so it's like the bathroom and all the wood throughout the rest of the house so yeah, I'm glad that I've got that undercoated. I've taken the handles off there just inside. And that means that when I come to paint, um, it's gonna take less coats. So that's great. So upstairs, I'm just gonna nip up and do the touching up um, on, well, actually I can't do the touching up because I need a second paintbrush. <laughs> gonna have to buy some more paintbrush at the weekend, but I am gonna go up and do an undercoat on the boxing in around the soil pipe um because i want to get that painted before we put the sink back so there was another clip with poor audio um unfortunately but it was just showing you that i'd also painted the boxing in behind the sink in the bathroom and tidied downstairs so that it was ready to come in at the weekend and just get cracked on um i'd moved all the carpet upstairs and a load more of it the, um, the offcuts from the other carpet my dad was taking away so on to Saturday. Hello, it's now Saturday. So, um, good news is that yesterday, someone from Eon finally came out to reset the gas meter. So now I'm just waiting on a new card in the post and I can start using my government vouchers to top that up and keep the heating on in this place. Um, I'll just keep it on low, like I said in the last vlog, but you know, keeping it ticking over. The boiler, we're keeping our eye on it. It seemed to drop pressure very quickly, so I might need to get the gas engineer back out to it. We'll see. Um, I'm not letting myself think down that avenue because he basically said, if there's stuff that needs referring on it, you're probably better off replacing it. So we'll see. Anyway, um, positive that we've at least got the boiler back on and it does work. It just drops pressure and we've now got a gas supply again and got rid of the other person's debt. Um, so today, I am down here with my dad again. He's upstairs doing some works in the bathroom. Um, and I am cleaning up the backs of the stairs using this bad boy. My dad is a big fan of Makita and has a lot of their handheld cordless tools. Um, so I've got this grinder here to take off all of the crap that's on the back of the stairs. So you can see that this one here is one that we've done and the one below it, but these still have quite a lot of little furry bits and old carpet nails in them. So I'm taking that off and then we can start cutting the wood down to go on the back of them. Um, I also, like I said, want to give the cupboard under the stairs and the box in the bathroom another coat of paint and then um, maybe get on with some decorating. But um, I'll probably come back down again tomorrow on Sunday. I'm staying with my sisters this weekend because her and her partner are in Barcelona, which is very nice for them. And it means I get some space and 
quiet time to myself and my sisters. Um, so yeah, I will probably do a time lapse of me cleaning off the back of the stairs um, using a power tool, which I don't use very often, I'm excited about that. <laughs> So the battery died on the grinder, so I'm waiting for that to recharge, but now I've just given the box in the bathroom a second coat of paint and I'm just helping dad because we're changing the radiator in there. So here's the new radiator, it's exactly the same size as the one that is already in there. The one that's in there is really rusty. So we're just draining it. Yeah. That's the Mingin Rusty Radiator that we're replacing. And there's a toilet, nice shot for you there. <laughs> Unfortunately, the pipes don't quite line up with keeping it on the old brackets. So we're having to put the new brackets on to make it all fit. Okay, so I've cleaned all the rubbish off the back of the steps. We've had some lunch and now it's time to cut the wood down for the risers. So the stairs are almost, almost done. Um, Dad's just left and next weekend we'll finish them off, but there really isn't much to do. So you can see here, the first four are done. We need to cut a piece down to go in that small gap there. And as we come around the corner, it's done all the way, apart from the very top one, because this had some carpet that was um, had probably about 50 carpet nails holding it in um, so we've only just got that off so yeah really not much to do whilst I'm up here I might as well show you how it looks with the radiator on because I don't think I did there we are nice clean new radiator so it looks a hundred times better and then next weekend dad will get the bath panels on and attached properly, the sink in with the new taps on, uh, change the toilet seat, and then new towel holder and toilet roll holder. And then this room will be done. Apart from a little bit of paint touch up, which I hope to do tomorrow. Um, but yeah, it'd be nice to say that there's a room in this house that is fully finished. Also, um, this morning on my way here, I stopped at the carpet shop. Uh, it's an independent local one. Same people that did my bedroom carpet, if you've been around as long as that. Um, and they've done me a really good quote to do the front bedroom up there that I'm happy with. So um, I am going to get my carpet fitter to quote me, but I just doubt that he can beat them, if I'm being honest. So I'm happy with that as well, because also it meant I was able to take a sample of the grey carpet from the small bedroom in and compare it and find a, a similar as I could to match it with. I also just wanted to show you, um, I'm going to box the stairs in straight across there. So this triangular bit here and that rectangular bit there. And um, we've got the wood here waiting to fill that. Oops, um, and a little bit of beading because there's a bit that we'll need filling with that. Um, and then that means that when I'm laying the laminate flooring, I can just take it straight into this corner here rather than trying to sort it out under there. It's pretty useless space anyway. You could get some storage under there, but um, 
yeah, I just can't be bothered. Um, if I'm being honest, there's all this storage here anyway, the whole way up, and this massive cupboard in the entrance hall that goes from the floor all the way to the ceiling. You need to put the door back on there when I've decorated it. Um, I've told you my dad's taking that carpet to his gym. So yeah, it's all getting there. Um, I will pick you up the next time I'm doing something here, but I'm really happy with how things are progressing now. Feels like we're moving forwards at a good pace once again. I'm actually gonna call it a day here, um, just editing this and we're 20 minutes in. Um, so the footage from the following weekend will make it into the next video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon with another one. Thank you.